Hello YouTube friends, welcome to The Last Homely House. I'm Kate and today I want to show you some fantastic new fabric that I got the other day. Um, I've got a project in my mind, I want to just introduce this today and we'll get on and think about making it uh, in the second part of this video, which will just be a moment for you but might be a week or two for me. <laughs> I have this uh, Indian block printed fabric in 10 inch squares that I bought uh, on Etsy. Uh, I'll find the uh, link to that for you and put it in the description below. But I have a plan of what I want to do with this. Firstly, aren't they amazing? The colours are just so beautiful. The designs, is that the right way round? No, that's the right way round for that one. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're all very, very different. Very different. Uh, let's find, oh, look at this one. This is a bit weird, isn't it? This one here. So they're 10 inch, approximately 10 inch squares. And I have an idea that I would like to piece together um, many, many of them and make some kind of a dressing gown, a very simple one. So if you remember back to when I made my hand ten jacket, my borrow jacket out of jeans, and that was just blocks of fabric sewn together old jeans and then worked into. I want to do something a bit similar with this and so to that end um, I found um, a pattern similar to the Hanten jacket. I think I could have drafted it myself but someone's already done that for me and again I'll leave a link to that in the description below and I want to piece these together. I'm going I'm I'm not quite sure, I'm hesitating because I'm not quite sure which ones to use or whether I should just go all pink, which you know I would love because I love pink. <laughs> now, where's there's a big pile of pink ones here. Let me find these. Here they are. This is a lovely pattern. I just like moving them around actually. I've given them all a good iron and there's a quite a lot of this design, uh, which is... Um, just gorgeous and so I had an idea that I might line it with pink, very very similar looking pink colours and then do the outside a little bit more wild with lots of different colours. So I had a pattern for a dressing gown but it was shaped and so imagine if I was to sew these two together and then another and then another and keep going. If I cut out a pattern in this fabric that I would then create, what would happen is I would lose some of that square when I cut the shaped pieces out. Do you understand? Yeah. So instead I thought I would make it really blocky, a bit kimono-like, which is exactly what the Hanten jacket was. The very same kind of idea. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to line it and with um, quilt wadding, that lovely bamboo and cotton quilt wadding that I really like, and then uh, quilt it with a, a nice canther stitch throughout all of these, you know, it's just a, like a big running stitch with beautiful colours of orithyl thread. Just look at this one. Isn't, that, isn't this one amazing? I love this one. So that's what I'm going to do today then, I think. I'm going to draft out the very, very simple pattern from the, uh, it's a Pinterest uh, pattern, I found it this morning uh, and I'm just going to draft it all out, measure it up, it's going to be nice and big and roomy but it's going to be warm because I'm going to line and quilt it. So are you excited? Because I am. <laughs> um, I really am. I bought uh, this one pack from this company, so it's from uh, uh, Rajasthan where I went uh, uh, when I went to India several years ago. It's from that same area. It might even be from the factory that I went to because you know the, the, all those factories around that area called Sanganir and I went to visit one of them and watch them printing fabrics like this. So who knows, I might have actually been in the place where this was made. But I bought one pack and when they came, uh, I thought, oh yes, I really like those. So I, I went back to that same site, which again, I'll leave in the description, and bought uh, two more, which has given me more than enough. I mean, there's more than enough here for, uh, for, the, for this project, but I have another project in mind for this as well which I'll talk about in a different video. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, so lots of projects that I want to do with this fabric here. Next job then is to, is to draft the pattern. Um, I've got, I bought a roll of um, drawing paper for Agnes, my granddaughter, and that will be perfect. I'll use a piece of that if she doesn't mind uh, to draft out that pattern. So in one second, you'll see what's happening with that. But for me, it might be a little while. See you in a second. I've got time to get back to this project now with these amazing Indian print squares. Now I know you just saw that bit a second ago, but it's been a couple of weeks for me. I found on Pinterest, that wonderful place, Pinterest, a website uh, called um, Melly Makes. And I'm using her very simple uh, tunic kind of um, kaftan kind of pattern for this robe. Uh, which um, I think I mentioned <laughs> a second ago that it's a lot like the Hanten jacket that I made, just blocks of fabric. And I've calculated, uh, she, goes, she does a very in-depth tutorial about how to draft your pattern and how to construct this, this robe. And so I've drafted my pattern based on my own measurements. It's always depressing when you measure yourself, isn't it? You think, how, how far is that? You think you've got the wrong end of the tape measure, but you haven't. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> so I worked out then that with the pieces that I need, they're just blocky pieces that I needed it to be, uh, these are 10 inch squares, I needed it to be six along and five down. Now, obviously, when she makes her pattern, she's using fabric. So I'm going to make a piece of fabric out of this layout here. Now, I've only just thrown them up there. I'm not sure if this is the final layout. Let's move to one side and have a look. There might be quite a lot of darks over this side and not so many on that side. It doesn't actually matter, really, because the plan now is to sew these together and then um, I'm going to line this now on the pattern that I've just looked at she doesn't line it but I'm going to do that uh, and so that means I need a lining now while I've been sorting out all these fabrics I've put aside all the pink ones uh, here uh, maybe other pink there may be one or two pink ones in the front but I've put aside all these pink ones because I think that I might make the lining all pink and the outside all like this so that it'll be reversible that's my plan this is the, one of the pink ones, look, that might make it into the pink one, the pink tigers. And so once I've sewn all these together, quite simply, I'll sew a pink lining together. And then my plan is to make it like a quilt sandwich and stitch them together uh, with a, a quite a big canther stitch, uh, like a big running stitch. So this is going to take me quite a while, but that's the next stage of what I want to do here. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew, um, check that I like that layout, put it all together. Now, of course, what I haven't got on here is the sleeves. Just realised I haven't got the sleeves. I've got the calculations for the sleeves here. So when I'm doing this, I'll make two blocks for the sleeves as well. And when I'm putting this robe together, I'm going to have to cut this out just like fabric. Um, as if it was a piece of fabric. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make a piece of fabric. Should I make the whole robe and put it together and then quilt it? Or should I quilt the fabric like a quilt with my running stitches and then cut it and sew it back together again? Don't know. I'll make that decision as I'm going along. But for now, I'm going to sew all these together and then I'm going to sew all these together. Because it's uh, the sleeves, I won't. I can use all the pink for the lining. It doesn't matter what the lining of the sleeves is, unless I want it reversible. Then, of course, it matters what the lining of the sleeves is. So many decisions when you do a project like this. OK, I'm going to sew now. That's what I'm going to do. So the whole time I've been stitching all this fabric together, I've been thinking about laying it out like this, as one big piece of fabric like a weird shaped quilt, pinning all the layers out together and quilting it while it's flat. The reason being that if I sew it all together, it's going to be really hard to get in and quilt the sleeves, I think. So I'll quilt it while it's uh, flat and then I can sew. So let, this is how it's going to work then. So then I'll fold it in half like that. 
you get the idea, don't you? Now it's whether or not I put pockets on. Now, if I'm doing it two-sided, and I'm going, if I use a patch pocket, do I put a pocket on the inside and the outside, which would make for a lot of pockets? Or do I do those kind of um, put your hands in type pockets, like this top's got actually, pockets like this, where you just put your hand in like that. That's a, that's a way I could do it. But the reason why I'm thinking I might quite like patch pockets is that I didn't use these fabrics when I was sewing the uh, whole thing. These aren't quite square, so they wouldn't have fit into this very well because they're, they're shorter than they are long. So, but I think they're cool. And so it may be that I use these as lining for a patch pocket, so sort of like a little secret tiger on the inside. But for now, what I'd say is I've got this piece finished together here. This one, which is the pink, mostly pink. It's not all pink, but it's it's mostly pink. Some very red in there and a bit of yellow. This will be the, I'm not gonna call it the inside. I'm gonna call it the other side. So this will be the other side. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is lay the whole thing out in that strange shape and, um, sew it all together in that weird shape this shape and then stitch it and I'll just quilt it like an ordinary quilt and that's what I'm going to do next but it might take me a while because this is a quite a big project I really like it though I like it a lot and I can really see this as my new dressing gown So while I've been putting these squares together and thinking about this dressing gown, I'm remembering that I made this not long ago. I'll leave the um, video about this one on the end card here and also in the description below. And this is the jacket I made out of old jeans. Uh, I was calling it the borrow jacket or the hand ten jacket. And I, uh, it's just like scraps and patches of old jeans. And this is very similar. I made the outside of this and then I made the inside of this as two complete objects and then put one inside the other and stitched round the neck and the sleeves. And while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, why am I thinking about doing this differently? This worked fine. And so I'm going to get back to this soon and I'm going to make those blocks like I drew in this little picture here earlier and then put the two together like I did this jacket. So it'll be a little while because there's no hurry for me finishing this one. But next time you see this, I hope I'll be well on with it and be doing the quilting because I'm going to put wadding in it. I think I said that and quilt it so that it's a warmer. Uh, it's, it, it's warmer than uh, just singly would be. So thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't, because that tells YouTube that you're enjoying what I'm doing here. And they push it out to other people who might also enjoy coming and joining us here at the Last Homely House. So thank you and I'll see you again soon with a finish on this and maybe some of the other projects that I've got part way through. Take care everybody.